Hey everybody, it's Johnny Dias here with Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're going to look at a Vivum Trilogy. Vivum is a collection of instruments that are best used for playing ambiences or a cinematic kind of music, maybe soundscapes or drones. Um, it's a really unique interface. I've had a good time playing over this thing, and in this video, I want to show you guys just a brief overview of how it looks, how to use some of the special features, um, a small song that I made using presets, and just a few tricks that I found. So. Let's have a look at it. First thing I want to tell you guys is there's three different uh, libraries here. There's Vivum Real, Vivum 1, and Vivum AD. Vivum 1 is the first of the libraries and it samples uh, the Roland S50 synth. Now, I hadn't actually heard of this synth before and I did a bit of research and it's a really legendary synth that is uh, famous for its warm tone. So very cool um, that that's the source for that one samples. Uh, Vivum AD is a collection of analog and digital synthesizers that have all been blended together to make really interesting textures. And Vivum Real is kind of a hybrid of real acoustic instruments and um, kind of hybrid permutations. So definitely an amazing combination of these all three together. And let's have a look at one. So we've got Vivum 1 here. The first thing you'll notice is this really unique uh, honeycomb. So they call it the honeycomb or the beehive. And you'll see it's got all these different uh, samples that you can click on to trigger on and off. This is a really cool way to play um, an instrument. There's over a hundred um, different hexagons here. And if you wanted to trigger more, you can use this slider up here to load them on or off. You will see each of these hexagons has a uh, different kind of waveform on it. So something like this will have a fast attack and then something like this one will have a slow attack. So the combination of all of these will give you something really special. And I think I need to play you guys a preset just to let you know what's what it sounds like now. So let's try maybe... You'll see when I played the first keyboard, uh, first chord and then the second chord, different um, cells lit up. That's one of the cool features about Vivum is that um, you won't play the same note twice if you're playing in this random mode. You can actually drag the slider up here over to the right to load more samples, which we'll try now. You have more of the honeycomb cells lit up. Let's play another chord. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. So it's a super playable instrument, um, very easy to use. So one of the main things to know is that when you're in, when you're playing this as an instrument, you can switch the play mode between random and stack. Uh, random will play a different um, honey, uh, hexagon each time you play a key, whereas stack will have them all playing at once. So you can play like 50 voices at once. This is a stack. It's quite a glorious sound. But my favorite feature of this is this random mode where you're playing a different different note each time. Because you can get quite quite unique sound combinations and your songs will never be the same. Um, this is Vivum Real, which is the one that uses acoustic instruments. Let's have a look at Vivum AD, which uses uh, analog and digital synthesizers. Let's play, uh, this is what this preset sounds like. This is Hollow Late Pad. played some basic chords and uh, having Vivum kind of brings them to life because it does give you different textures each time you play a note. But one of the cool things is the sound alterations down here and you know there's all these different options like a reverb delay, convolution is kind of a reverb and then there's these ornaments. It's a really cool way to um, kind of have these moving, moving like, melodies without doing too much. Uh, one of the things you want to do though is um, you have this ADSR over here and you can actually make it like a, like a pluck very easily, a uh, pluck or a pad. Let's do that and then turn on the arpeggiator, which is on already. And I think that should be giving us the ornaments. Let's have a listen. So 
So that's pretty cool. And having something like that that's playing through different sound samples is actually really nice because you don't have to do too much and then you're getting, um, you know, it's creating the music for you. Last but not least is Vivim 1. Vivim 1 is the first of the series and it was made sampling a, an SD Roland synth. Let's have a look at this pulsing sequence. This uses the arpeggiator down here. That's pretty nice. Let's try if we can get a different sound using uh, random mode and then maybe add a few more layers. So it's a really different sound um, from that patch. We've just altered a few things and it's come out really, really new. So let's just try one more preset. Let's just try pulsing sequence two. Even though this is like a, an ambient sound library, I feel like that could be used in, in a massive beat and it would work really well. Let's just try that out really fast. Okay guys, so I really like the pulsing sequence too. And just wanted to see if this could be pushed beyond just making ambience and make just make kind of a, a trap beat with this. I have made another song as well after this, so do stay tuned for the real song, but let's just see how, how this works. Okay guys, so now that we've seen that it can do a trap track, um, I really wanted to show off what it was really strong at though, which was kind of ambient music and soundscapes. So what I've done is I've got Vivim 1 here playing a bass line of sorts. Um, that's to show off that Roland S50 warm uh, synth tones. And I have Vivim AD playing um, kind of a pad sound here. Uh, that's to show off that mixture of analog and digital synthesizers. And then kind of as the melody or the main focus of the track, I've used Vivim Real with um, just various MIDI notes playing, a little bit of, um, you can see I've used the mod wheel a bit, but um, I really wanted to sh kind of highlight that randomized feature where it plays these different hexagons and um, can make these delightful textures. So let's just play this. And remember, it's only three instances of Vivim, um, not much editing on there, just trying to keep it as real as possible. So let's just check out this track. Okay guys, so I hope you found that useful. Vivim Trilogy is a really great instrument to have if you're making ambiences or working in cinematic music. And if you're wanting to get a copy, just head over to Audio Plugin Deals and you should be able to get an amazing deal on this. So as always guys, stay safe out there and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you this content. I'll see you all next time.